Hello scientists, it's time for another episode of Miss Laconti's Science Corner. Yesterday, we used capillary action to start growing our rainbow, and I want to show you the final result. So last night, I took my paper towel off of the cup of water, and here is what I saw. So you can see that the best rainbow action seem to happen right on the red stripe, the orange stripe, and the yellow stripe too. Do you have any thoughts about why that might have happened? If you do, you can share them in the comments below this video. I hope that many of you also tried this experiment at home. If you did that, also comment below this video. Next, I want to show you two more examples of capillary action that you can try really easily at home. The first one, you know that I like to use every part of my materials in every experiment. So I actually saved the water that I used yesterday. And you can see that some of the ink from the markers ran into the water and made it this pretty orange color. So what I'm going to do now is I have one of my favorite vegetables a piece of celery and I'm going to actually put the celery into my colorful water and you can by the way you can actually see some stripy lines naturally growing right on the celery and you can even see some lines on the leaves of the celery too. So I'm going to put it right into the water just like this and I'm going to try to leave it here overnight. What do you think might happen to the celery tomorrow morning or even later this week? What about next week? Can you use the words capillary action to explain that? So we're going to put this aside for now and come back to it during a later video once that capillary action has had some time to work. Next, I want to show you something that I came across when I was doing a little bit of reading. One of my favorite books caterpillar to butterfly, but one of my favorite animals, the butterfly. I was reading this part where it says, time for lunch. A butterfly doesn't eat plants like a caterpillar. It has no mouth. A butterfly drinks nectar from flowers. It drinks juice from fruit. A tube on its head works like a straw. Slurp. So this tube on the butterfly's head, the scientific name for that is proboscis. And actually, the proboscis of the butterfly is so long, it has to use some of that capillary action to draw the nectar out of the flower and get enough food that it eats. So we remember capillary action when liquids are moving together against the force of gravity. So the liquid, the delicious liquid, inside of the flower is moving up, 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 up against the force of gravity, which is trying to pull the liquid down. That butterfly's proboscis is another great example of capillary action. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll talk to you again very soon.